Hey, how's everyone doing? So in today's video, it's gonna be a quick one. I just wanted to show a workaround that I just accidentally stumbled on for the EverDrive GBX7 with the IO error. I haven't seen too many people talking about it, but I might be wrong. Maybe somebody else has also noticed this. So, but before I get into the video, for those of you who are just watching for the first time, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I would most definitely like you to watch my stuff. Thank you very much to everyone who's been watching. You are all awesome. So that's pretty cool that they, I might have accidentally stumbled on something. Hopefully it gets fixed in the long run, but let's get into the video. Now, I've spoken about before my issues with the, G, with the EverDrive GBX7 where it gives you the IO error. So let's just show you this now, that way you guys can see it. Okay, so, all right, you load it up. Uh, let's see, settings were reset to default, okay. Now let's go, let's try to start up a game, okay. You get this one, Amazing Spider-Man. You get the IO error, all right. Every time you try and run it. Okay. And even if you try a different game, Asteroid, you get the error. Game's not running. Now, another workaround that I've seen in the past was to have this start in another Game Boy uh, system, game, original Game Boy system or Game Boy Advance, and then you just press start. So let's do a different game just to show. Oh, let's, wrong, oh, let's do best looking. Oh, let's do Kirby. Okay. So you see it starts up no problem there. Okay. Now, bring it back over here. Start it up. You just press start. So this has been the workaround that I've been seeing floating around. Now, I don't know if the new workaround that I'm talking about has been discussed. So let's just talk about it now. So one thing that I found interesting, I went to, you know, let's just pick something. Okay, let's do... Which one ROM hacks? You know what? Pokemon ROM hacks. Okay. That way you can see something starting differently. Let's do orange, for example. Now, you see I didn't start orange, so when I press start, it takes you to Kirby Dreamland. Okay. Just want to make sure everybody sees that. Now I'm here in Pokemon, and it won't let me get through. So. I just keep pressing the A button and the, uh, let's see if it takes you back to the menu. Okay. Now, I don't know. This happened a little differently last time. Let's try it again now. Let's see what happens. Game not loaded. Let's go to game. Let's try a different one now. Hack, Bugs Bunny. Okay. So now it says game's not loaded. You know, let me give me let me just try something else. Let me see if something else will work. All right, so I kind of worked out the kinks. So I'm gonna show it to you how you can do this, and I'm gonna try several different games. That way, you guys can see what's going on. Now, let's just do Pokemon Pinball. Now, if you press start, you'll see game not loaded. Error 32. Okay, press start again. Game not loaded. When I try and press Pokemon Pinball, select and start, I get the same error, D5, SDIO error, disk write error, and then D3 error, disk read error. So, okay, not running for some reason, it takes you back to the screen. Try again, I get the same error. Interesting, so if I press it twice, so let's try quitting, let's go back in. Okay, so game not loaded. So maybe don't do it twice, okay? 
Let's, you know what, just for continuity, let's go back and let's do the same thing with Pokemon Pinball. Okay, same thing, D5, D3, okay? And then, when you press start, for some reason it loads. The game actually loads. This is a very interesting workaround. The good thing about this is you don't need to have another Game Boy, Game Boy Advance with you to try to get that workaround going. You know, it's not ideal, but it's better than nothing if you have this and you can't really use it at the moment with the analog. So I have to quit game because whenever I try doing the menu, it just kind of messes up. Now let's try a different one. That way everyone can see. Now here we go, Pokemon Gold uh, 97. Press start, nothing's going as you can tell, nothing, okay? So you go start select, you get the error, okay? See, whenever it says D2, that's, for some reason, that's when it's not gonna work. You wanna get D3, which <laughs> is like extremely random. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You just gotta restart and try again. And it might be dependent on the game. I don't know, let's see. Let's try with that game again. Press start, game not loaded. Up oh, D3, okay, look, it says D3. So it should take me back to the menu. Okay, so it does. I press start. <laughs> oh shit, it actually does work. All right. That's actually a pretty good workaround. At least you don't need to have something else with you. Like I said, if you have any issues, let me know. Sometimes you get this error, I have to quit. It's very finicky on the analog. It really is. So let's just show you one more time. Okay, let's do a graphics one. Let's do Super Mario Land colorization. Super Mario Land 2, okay? So you press start, okay? Oh, D2, Wait, now it's back to D3. Just keep pressing A, okay. So as long as you get the D3 error, you'll be able to press start and it should run. Now let's see if this one actually loads. Okay, so this one doesn't look like it actually loaded. Interesting. Wonder if it'll load if I press start now. Let's see, if it gets that reset error, then that means, yeah, that means it's not gonna load. But I do wanna try that one again, actually. So let's give that one more try. D3, okay, D3 error, so it should go back, press start. I don't know, for some reason that one doesn't like it. Interesting. Okay, let's try one more time. Let's try a different game. So many errors, for some reason, it's like I said, it's very finicky with the analog pocket. Hmm. Let's just try taking it out, bring it back in. Now please take everything I say and do with a grain of salt. I don't want anybody messing up their EverDrive. So, you know, this is just for information purposes. Just wanted to give people Maybe a workaround they might not have had before. Let's see if this one works. Okay, D3. So that's good. You can see the lights going. Okay, let's press start. There you go, it's, it actually loaded. Okay, so there you go. That is a nice workaround that doesn't require another hardware for you. So everybody, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and uh, have a good one.